Hello friends, welcome to yet another captivating video of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and friends, I'm quite sure you have already guessed it from the thumbnail. Today, I am going to discuss use of important prepositions in spoken English. So it is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video to learn the correct use of some extremely important prepositions. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to Stem Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends, welcome back once again to this fascinating session on use of important prepositions. And as I have promised in today's video, I am going to give you some extremely important prepositions and I'm going to discuss correct use of important prepositions and I'm going to give you so many examples so that you can understand how to use all these important prepositions and you can incorporate them in your spoken English as well as writing. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So friends, as you see on your screen, the first preposition I'm going to discuss is with. As you see on your screen so with can be used in multiple ways it's a very important preposition for your spoken English as well as writing so at first we can use with to talk about company when someone is accompanied by someone to denote company of someone we can use with so as you see I live with my parents so I'm talking about my parents their company as you see the second example please follow all the important examples because I'm gonna give you several examples so let's see the second example Sam arrives with his friends so here again I'm using with to talk about company Sam arrived with his friends so up next we can use with in another way as you see you want to describe that you are angry with you want to express your anger and you have that anger then that time you can say that I'm angry with you or I'm angry with my brother or I'm disappointed with you. So anger, disappointment, we can denote and you can say with someone. And we can also use with to describe, to use something, when you are using something to do some action that is denoted by with. As you see the example, he chopped the onion with the knife. So he chopped the onion with what? He chopped the onion with the knife. So yeah, I'm using with to talk about the thing that is used to chop that is with the knife so I'm quite sure it's clear that means I'm talking about the thing which is used to chop up next we will see the second preposition which is very important that is by so by is also very important you must know how to use it in your sentence correctly there are so many important ways to use it the first is on your screen as you see it is used to denote the agent that does something so let me clarify the previous example which I have shown that which you carry on the action that he chopped the onions with the knife but here we use by to denote or to describe or to point out the agent that does the job or does something as you see the vehicle was driven by an old man so this old man is the agent so similarly you see the next example the book was written by a renowned author the renowned author is the person is the agent who does the job so I'm quite sure it's clear so up next we can also use by in other situations to talk about the method so as you see the example he traveled all across the country by train you often say by train he traveled by car so just remember by train by car we can say by bus up next we will see another example sam completed the assignment by himself so that means by himself he did it and up next we will also see how to use by in other ways by to talk about time that is not later than so as you see the example we have to reach by seven o'clock that means that's the time we have to reach by that time not later than understood that time you can say please finish the task by 8 p.m or by 9 p.m that means you have to finish it before that not later than so that is a very important use just remember and use it up next we are going to dive into the third important preposition for today that is from from at first can be used to indicate the place so let me show you some examples Tom comes from Park Street so that's the place from where he comes from Park Street again see the next example she sent me a postcard from Rome from that place it is indicating the place that is Rome up next we can use from in another way to indicate time when something starts as you see the new manager will join from tomorrow so I'm talking about the time so when he will join from tomorrow I'm quite sure it's clear again you can see another example food will be served from 8 p.m. that means from 8 p.m. onwards okay, just remember here you don't have to use at at means when you're talking about a specific time 
but here I am using from because from this time it will start that means serving of food will begin so this action will start that's why I am using from not at so food will be served from 8 pm that means 8 pm onwards so up next we can use from in another way when you are talking about duration that time also you have to use from you cannot use at let me show you one example as you see on your screen I have to work from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. so I'm talking about a duration so I cannot use at so I have to start with from and then to and say the end time that is from 8 12 p.m. I'm using from before 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. so like this way you can use from so at last we can also use from to indicate the cause of something he was unwell and died from a brain stroke so I'm using from to talk about the cause from a brain stroke. So like this way also we have to use from to indicate the cause of something. So I'm quite sure it's clear, very important. So up next we are going to dive into the fourth preposition. We are going to discuss this on your screen that is off. Very important. You must know how to use this preposition. It has multiple uses. So let me show you the first use. So it is used to denote possession or origin. So let me show you the first example. He is a good friend of mine so mine I'm talking about mine so as you see the next example an old habit of mine again I'm talking about my position citizens of the nation so I'm talking about the origin citizens of the nation so just go through this and try to use and you can use off like this so up next we will see the second way we can use off off is also used to indicate number quantity amount it is so as you see we can say lots of people and you can say a lot of people also I hope you remember the difference and as you see the next example none of them so I'm talking about the number here none of them very important again you see the next example thousands of soldiers so here off is required I'm talking about thousands and then using off to talk about soldiers that means you're talking about the number here the thousands of soldiers so up next we will dive into the next preposition and the last preposition for today that is on your screen that is to to is also a very important preposition the first we can use to to point out movement towards the place person it is is very important so let me show you some examples then it's going to be easier for you to understand he went back to his hometown so I'm talking about the movement that is to his hometown see the next example she drove to the mall the next way to use it is in case of events when you want to talk about events it is important to use to to make the sentence correct as you see the example he came to my birthday party so yeah, I'm using to to talk about that event that my birthday party see the next example she invited me to her wedding so where she invited me to I need to to talk about that event her wedding party so I'm quite sure it's clear at last let me tell you we can use to to indicate time as you see it's 10 minutes to 6 that means it's 10 minutes to 6 means 10 minutes to become 6 I'm quite sure it's clear whenever we describe time we use that 10 minutes to 6 or 5 minutes to 6 so like this way you can use you have to use 2 as I have already mentioned when you want to talk about the duration duration of time that time you cannot use at you have to use from and to as you see she walks from 9 a.m. and when you want to talk about the end time then you have to use to she walks from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. so I'm quite sure it's clear here I'm using to to talk about the end time so I'm quite sure it's clear so in case of duration when you want to talk about duration point out the duration time duration so that time you have to use to in this way so I'm quite sure it's clear so friends today I gave you some extremely important prepositions and I have shown you how you can use all these important prepositions in different ways and please remember the uses try to incorporate them in your spoken English and they are useful for your writing also to construct the correct sentences try to incorporate in your writing also and I'm quite sure you have liked this video like my other videos so it is my earnest request to all of you if you still haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so stay tuned for further informative videos friends and please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to system zone